Come on, Buck. You can do this. You can do this. Come on, Buck. Okay. Where are they going? treat for you guys one thing the OSUV is circling back for a round tune to back in Hey, uh, Big Dan's up there. Put your clothes on. <laughs> oh, boy. Got a little gangster lean happening here. Got a little gangster lean. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's like, what's the problem? Don't bloop bloop. Don't bloop bloop. Oof. This is a pretty steep ramp too. Run it up on the docks, huh? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, this ain't good. Right, you trying to get the trying to get the, you trying to get the copyright police after me? Yes. <laughs> Please, you're drawing too much attention, Dan's up there. I was like, where's he at? <laughs> <laughs> too deep before oh we're too deep i'd pull up friend keep going keep going there you go that's a little better look at her she's peeking out the window she's like big dad's watching She's like, there I am at 2314, 1422. There you go. That's the Mick Ultras that get you on there like that. <laughs> no problem. Man, he's doing it all. He's cranking it up by himself. Think, boys, are they gonna get it? I got the dang fenders out. Uh oh, uh oh. Well, 
Uh oh. Hey, he's gonna. Uh, I thought the captain was gonna call for the open. We got one backing down here on lane eight. No, the pontoon doesn't have it. They don't have it. They're backing down. Are they still fooling with this thing over here? Good night. What's going on here? Oh my gosh, boys. The boat is fixing to come off the trailer. This is a product of being in too deep. As you saw earlier, the trailer was in too deep. The pontoons were floating around. He pulls out. It drifts over to the left. And now the winch has got the, the front crate down. And the back is up in the air and off the side of the actual bunk. So this guy's like, back up, back up, back up. She's trying to hold it off the freaking dock before it flips. And they end up recovering it. They get it in the water right here. But uh, that could have been really bad there for a minute. So if you've seen that, there's, if you've noticed that there's a change in the audio, it's actually because someone pulls up beside me in a truck and they think it's going to be cool to spend their afternoon at the boat ramp watching some boat ramp fails in first person and they've got the freaking radio up like an idiot like they're at some kind of high school party and that's the cool thing to do all while I'm working here and now I've got to do a voiceover because of the YouTube copyright laws and stuff like that so it is what it is, no big deal. Um, some people enjoy the vo voiceovers personally. I like it more natural. I like to just kind of shoot from the hip and whatever comes off my tongue in that situation is usually a lot funnier. Um, but, all right, look at this boat here. They got it pulled out. Everything looks to be all right. And, uh, yeah. All right, lane eight, lady captain. Suzuki 200 on the flats boat. Grips it right in there, no problems. Beautiful job. Hey, I love watching a woman captain behind the helm. I mean, I like I, I like women before more than men. Uh, so whenever one can successfully dock a boat, you know, trailer a boat, back a trailer in, I'm like, I see you. So, this crew, we've got it in 5X fast forward, and they're just getting their things together. This is a new boat on the channel. All right, now this guy right here, he is a follower of the Big Dan Show, and hey, it can happen to the best of us, maybe too many beers. Uh, maybe too much drift, maybe the pressure of the camera being on him. But that port side bow there just barely bumps that pipe. Boop! And it pushes the uh, the bow over to the right, and now he's in trouble. He's laughing. <laughs> he's, he, he, he's probably embarrassed. He's shaking his head. He's like, you got to be kidding me right now. I can hear him up there just laughing over the music. <laughs> he's like, I cannot believe this right now. Oh, good times. He's in a little too deep, and I know it might not look like it, but these these ramps are fairly steep here. Uh, and the issue with that is a lot of times, if you don't get the bow up high in the bow stop and get the transom pushed down, for whatever reason, that back end is going to be floating around. So if the, the ramps were a little bit longer, uh, you wouldn't have as much issue with the with the, uh, the hull floating around before it actually lines up on the guides. So right here you can see, I'm fixing to put it in fast motion here, uh, but you can see that transom just bouncing all around, left to right, left to right, and it's not resting on anything. 
<laughs> Getting a smile and a wave from him there. Oh, good times. But they're just in just a little bit too deep. And he's going to get cranked up. And uh, they're going to get the heck out of there. Same issue here. Now, this guy is not in too deep. He just missed his mark. Boom. Shoots the bow over. Uh, kicks that transom in. And he's headed towards the dock. As you guys can see, there's like little to no wind today. Uh, very calm conditions. No current. Hardly any wind. Maybe three knots. People are out just enjoying their day on the intercoastal. Nice Boston whaler. Looks like a 33. The old contender. I like the layout of a contender. I'm not a huge contender fan, uh, but I do like the layout. Buddy says, it's almost time to go home, baby. Let's get this thing loaded up on the dang trailer and get out of here. Uh-oh. Somebody's getting a tow. Wait. He was getting a tow, but... It Oh, golly. Just smacked the dot. do it oh my this guy's sunburnt oof I know he's gonna be hurting tonight she's all nice and tan he's fried but he ain't used the first bit of hey yo what in the world this crew looks like they're just uh having a good old time